All right. So another related rate problem, um, number 24 here. Kite 100 feet above the ground moves horizontally at a speed of 8 feet per second. At what rate is the angle between the string and the horizon decreasing when the 200 feet of string has been let out? All right. You got a kite. It is moving horizontally at 8 feet per second. There is a string that goes where? To the ground, right? And of course, we pretend the person is just a dot. All right. And I see the triangle now. I'm going to do it purple. That's going to be 200 feet, though, right? That big string. Well, okay, at this instant, it's 200 feet. But my okay. first question is always the same. What's changing on this? I think the one thing that's not changing is 100 feet vertical. So I can put 100 in. But I'm going to have to call this Z. And I think I'm going to have to call this on the ground X. You guys agree? Because as this kite moves, X and Z change. As this kite moves, X and Z change. It says at what rate is the angle between the string and the ground. So I'm going to call that angle theta. You want to know at what rank is, is theta decreasing as the kite moves away. So I think I got D theta DT when Z equals 200. Is question mark. What do we know? We know one thing. We know dx dt dt dx dt is positive eight feet per second, right? The string's being let out. All right. So I look at the triangle. I don't want to do Pythagorean theorem. I don't know dz dt. So I have to use trig. I have one choice, realistically, that's easy. The 100 feet is not changing, guys. If this was, if you, if for some reason you felt obligated to call this y, dy dt is zero. There is no rate of change. The 100 is the 100 all the time. So we're not going to do that. But are you going to want to use that pretend y spot? You bet. Because it's sitting there? Yep, and we're not going to, and I tell you what, we're going to call it 100. We're just going to call it 100. I think you should use tangent. You know dx dt. You know 100 is not going to change. So you can write tangent of theta is equivalent to 100 feet all over x. And when you think about it, take a look, take a look at what we defined as knowns and unknowns. If you start with related rates, do you see how tangent theta is going to give me d theta dt? When I take the derivative, and what's 100 over x going to give me? Dx dt. So I got some, I got some work here, all right? So I'm going to set up to do my work. First thing I'm going to do is I don't want to deal with it this way, guys. How about this? Tangent of theta is equal to 100 feet times x to the negative 1. You guys okay with that so I don't have to do the quotient rule? That'd be easier. What's the derivative of tangent, Tony, you remember? Squared theta, d theta, dt. The derivative of 100 feet, so I think it's negative 100 feet times x to the negative 2, dx dt. Now we got a little bit of work this time because it said the string was 200 feet, the height's 100. You're going to have to figure out the triangle at this point. And sometimes I just redraw it. I don't know if you guys caught. This is a 30, 60, 90. 100 feet, 200 feet. That's one half, guys. That's sine of 30, right? 1 over 2. 1, 2, square root of 3. So this is 100 square roots of 3, guys. I did that really fast, but that's similar triangles. All right? All right, so now I know the x distance at that instant. I want d phase dt. So I better figure out, and this is how I do it. I think of this as 1 over cosine squared theta. You guys agree? I hate leaving it as reciprocal, so I get negative 100 feet divided by x is 100 square root of 3 feet squared. And then dx dt is 8 feet per second. When I look at the cosine of this triangle, you guys agree it's 100 square root of 3 over 200? Or square root of 3 over 2, do you guys agree? 
So it's one over, square to three over two, square, d phi to dt, equals, and this is where sometimes square root of three squared is three, and then I got a hundred and a hundred when I square the bottom. The feet all cancel, and this is times eight, and I get rad per second at this point when I deal with the units. And I do this because now I can just cancel 100, right? And over here, I'm going to get, when I square this, I'm going to get 3 fourths. Which 1 over 3 fourths is 4 thirds. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 fourths. I get d theta dt. I know I did a lot of math in green there, but just math is now is there simplification I can do here on the other side? Sure, the threes cancel. Eight divided by four last time I checked was two. Two hundredths is how about negative one fiftieth rad per second. Yeah, that makes sense. Just think about it. As a string goes out, can you picture it in your mind? If you think about it, the kite's here, you hold your arm up and you say, oh it's going further away. And think about it. As it goes further away from you, your arm comes down ever so slightly. Then keep practicing, it's just practice.